thank you, uh, thank you for being here. Most importantly, and uh, it's uh, a very uh, sad day, sad anniversary. But I must say, uh, very exciting to uh, see so many folks here from Kansas. I know that's a tradition, and uh, it's uh, particularly exciting for Angela and I, my wife. Uh, we have been to a march up here for 15 years because we've been marching in Topeka for the last 14. And, uh, and apparently they had a very good turnout last uh, Friday as well. So, but uh, Angela is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's my wife Angela, we have our four children here. And uh, there's one thing I like to point out and, uh, is that uh, I had a special order on the floor of the house uh, late last week talking about life and that there is an alternative, it's, it's called adoption, and uh, we've been blessed with four adopted children. But one thing I wanted to note that in this country, Planned Parenthood is, uh, receives hundreds of millions of dollars of our taxpayer money needs that, to change. Uh, that needs to change, and I thought that at the state level. But a figure that's particularly striking is uh, in the last year that from their own numbers, Planned Parenthood committed 324,000 abortions. Mm -hmm. And they only had less than 2,500 referrals for adoption. 324,000 to 2,500. That's the other side of, of our movement, is talking about the alternatives and that there's thousands of uh, pregnancy crisis centers around this country, and that's one thing I, I talk about and want to promote in addition to, we do have an option, we do have an answer, and, and that's our love and help. And you being here is just very inspiring to uh, those of us that are serving. We've got some big things ahead. We have probably the most pro-life freshman class in the history of the, this country. That's worth a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs>